Have you ever thought about digging a well? Not just any well, a well that stretches for miles underground. That's exactly what the ancient Persians did thousands of years ago. They built these incredible water systems called kanats. Now, kanats aren't your typical backyard project. We're talking massive underground tunnels, some stretching for miles, all built with hand tools and a whole lot of ingenuity. No backhoes, no lasers, just grit, determination and a deep understanding of nature. These folks were the original dirty jobs heroes, harnessing the very earth to survive and thrive. To understand the sheer brilliance of these systems, you've got to picture the environment. We're talking harsh deserts, scorching sun and water. Well, water was precious. The Persians needed a way to access it, and they couldn't just drill straight down like we often do today. The water table was too deep and the ground was often too hard. So they got creative. These ancient engineers devised a system that tapped into distant water sources and channeled them underground, right where they needed them. So, how do you move water uphill? You don't. You let gravity do the work. The Kanat system is all about working with nature, not against it. Imagine a slightly sloping tunnel, starting at a water source, maybe a mountain aquifer. This tunnel, the Kanat, gently slopes downward, following the natural lay of the land. Along the way, vertical shafts are dug down to the tunnel. These shafts serve multiple purposes. They provide ventilation for the workers digging the kanat, and they act as access points for maintenance. But here's the genius part. Those vertical shafts, they also act like giant straws, tapping into the water table and feeding the kanat tunnel. Water flows downhill, right? So by creating this sloping tunnel, the Persians were essentially creating an artificial underground stream powered by gravity. No pumps, no energy required just a constant flow of water, delivered right where it was needed. Building a kanat wasn't just about digging a hole in the ground, it required a level of precision and planning that still boggles the mind today. Remember, we're talking about ancient times, long before lasers and computer modeling. These folks were working with basic tools and their understanding of the land. The most crucial aspect was the gradient, the slope of the tunnel. Too steep and the water would flow too fast, eroding the tunnel and potentially causing collapses. Too shallow and the water wouldn't flow at all. They needed to find that sweet spot, that perfect angle to keep the water moving steadily for miles. This required careful surveying, measuring the lay of the land and calculating the precise gradient. It was a delicate dance with gravity, and these ancient engineers were masters of the art. Now you might be thinking, OK, that's impressive, but how did they actually dig these tunnels? Good question. The tools were simple but effective. We're talking about picks, shovels, chisels and hammers, all made from stone, bone and later metal. The real secret weapon? their knowledge of the land. They knew how to read the soil, identifying different layers and their properties. They knew where to dig for the best materials to support the tunnel walls, and they knew how to use fire to their advantage, heating the rock face to make it easier to break apart. It was back-breaking, dangerous work, but for the Kanat diggers, it was a way of life, a testament to their resilience and ingenuity. Building a kanat wasn't a one-man job. It required a team of skilled labourers, each with their own specialty. You had the surveyors, the ones who mapped the land and determined the kanat's path. Then came the diggers, those who worked tirelessly, often in cramped and dangerous conditions, to carve the tunnel. And let's not forget the haulers, who removed the excavated earth and transported it to the surface. This wasn't just a group of individuals working alongside each other. It was a coordinated effort, requiring communication, trust, and a shared understanding of the task at hand. The success of the Kanat depended on the seamless collaboration of everyone involved, from the most experienced engineer to the youngest apprentice. They were a team, united in their goal of bringing life-giving water to their communities. In a world where towering skyscrapers kiss the clouds and suspension bridges span vast water bodies, it's easy to marvel at the modern engineering prowess. 
Yet how often do we pause to acknowledge the architectural wonders of the ancient world? The pyramids of Egypt, the Mayan temples, the Great Wall of China. These aren't just relics from the past. They are testaments to our ancestors' profound understanding of construction and design. Peering through the lens of modern engineering, we journey back in time, exploring the intricate details of these ancient structures. Unearthing the secrets behind their creation, we find a complexity and advancement that challenges our present-day understanding. Our ancestors, without the aid of sophisticated tools and machinery, achieved feats of construction that leave us in awe. They moved colossal stones, aligned structures with celestial bodies, and built edifices that have stood the test of time. From the labyrinthine tunnels of the underground cities in Cappadocia to the precision of the Great Pyramid of Giza's alignment with the cardinal points, their knowledge of geology, mathematics and astronomy was far more advanced than we've ever given them credit for. These were not simple builders, they were master engineers, their techniques refined over centuries. Their achievements provoke a deeper question. What if these ancient civilizations were not as primitive as we believe them to be? What if we've been underestimating their capabilities all along? What if these architectural marvels are evidence of an advanced civilization lost to the sands of time? As we stand on the shoulders of giants, looking into the future, we owe it to ourselves to delve into the past, to seek wisdom in the stones they laid, the cities they built, the world they shaped. We have much to learn from their resilience, their innovation, their understanding of the world. In the end, are we not the echo of our ancestors, the resonance of their ingenuity? And if we are, what can their advanced techniques and societal structures teach us about ensuring our own civilization's longevity and prosperity? As we continue to push the boundaries of possibility with our modern marvels, remember this. We are not just builders of our future. We are custodians of our, our quest to unlock the secrets of the past. We find ourselves standing at the intersection of history and innovation, filled with curiosity and reverence. As we marvel at the architectural wonders left behind by our ancestors, we are filled with awe at their complexity and sophistication. The towering pyramids of Egypt, the vast water systems of the Roman Empire, the astronomical precision of Mayan temples, each poses questions that challenge our modern understanding of the past. These structures, crafted with techniques that predate our modern engineering tools and knowledge, hint at a level of sophistication that compels us to rethink our perceptions of what was possible. They stand as a testament to human ingenuity, a testament to a time when the line between the possible and the impossible was blurred. But how did they achieve such feats? To answer this, we're advocating for an unprecedented collaborative effort. Recognizing the gap between ancient achievements and our historical understanding, we're calling upon the practical insights of engineers and builders the ones who shape our skyline with megastructures today, and the theoretical knowledge of archaeologists and historians who delve into the depths of the past. This interdisciplinary collaboration could be the key to unearthing the secrets of ancient engineering. It's about merging hands-on experience with academic exploration, combining the art of creation with the science of interpretation. Armed with modern technology, from aerial drones to LiDAR scanning and sophisticated computer simulations, we're peeling back centuries of assumptions to reveal the true extent of ancient engineering marvels. Imagine a drone soaring above the ruins of an ancient city, capturing detailed images from perspectives that were once impossible. This bird's eye view provides a fresh look at familiar sites, offering new insights into their design and function. LiDAR scanning, on the other hand, takes us beneath the surface, revealing hidden structures and features. And through computer simulations, we're able to reconstruct ancient sites to test theories and understand the practicalities of construction and usage. The data they gather can be shared worldwide, inviting experts from various fields to contribute to a collective understanding. These tools are not just expanding our knowledge, they're transforming our approach allowing us to simulate and understand the ancient world in ways never before possible. As we stand on the brink of new discoveries, our journey into the ancient world is more than a quest for knowledge. It's a testament to human innovation and resilience. With each question we ask, each secret we uncover, 
we're not just exploring the past, we're shaping our future. Imagine what we can achieve when we combine the wisdom of the ancients with the innovation of the modern world. By studying and understanding the ancient marvels, we can learn more about resilience, sustainability, and the power of ingenious design, lessons that have the potential to inspire our own engineering feats. Today, we're seeing the fruits of this multidisciplinary approach. From the depths of the Egyptian pyramids to the heights of the Mayan temples, ongoing projects are unlocking new insights, redefining our understanding of ancient engineering. These explorations are not confined to the past. They're shaping the ways we approach modern challenges, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in engineering, architecture and beyond. But this is just the beginning. As we delve deeper into the past, we're opening up new possibilities for the future. We're not just exploring ancient engineering. We're crafting a blueprint for future advancements, driven by the lessons we learn from our ancestors. The legacy of ancient engineering, with its untold stories and lost technologies, holds keys to our future advancements. And so we continue to push forward, inspired by the ingenuity of those who came before us, and motivated by the potential of what we can achieve together.